I think I'll let that soak till tomorrow. But right there is that, uh, that's that fork. Been braised on both ends right there. And you can see it was only touching right there where the shiny place is. So I'll have to I'll have to reface this right here to the level of this one here. This is the low one in order to make mo both of them touch at the same time. So we'll tune that up when we put it back on there. When, when it's like this right here, it, it uh, pulls that sleeve sideways a little bit. But I'm going to let that soak to tomorrow, and then I'll have another go at it. Well, looking at that, looking at that right there, there ain't no flat place on it. We'll, we'll, we'll set that right. And then up here, right here is one of the reasons that, that your engine don't run that good when you first paint them. Is, is that paint right there on that governor, long governor rod that's inside of that bracket there? You, you know, you, you, can't expect, you can't expect good performance out of that kind of rig. And uh, now we'll set that right and put it back in there. These stories, these old engines could tell if they could tell the story. But the tag on this one right here says the plant is pruned back to correct size for planting. So, but it's you can tell it's been on this on this part for a good amount of years. And it says IHC Governor M. Six horsepower governor assembly, and the price on it is fifty-five dollars. I got this up at Portland this year, and it it appears to be original that it ain't never been took apart. Being a six horsepower size, and these parts are the ones that comes into play when you're explaining something, I guess. But this. This yellow governor here, that's the correct configuration that these should be set up to be with the arm going that way, as is the one on the engine being correct. We get that collar turning now. But I have another engine over there in Q. Going to have to do the same thing to it. I'll show it to you. This being another six horsepower that the governor don't work on was auction sale engine uh you know just been in queue there to get running and, and as i uh, working on these governor setups this one came to light i've never tried to start it you know it's first time uncovering it from years back but if you see anything right there it's a mess leave a comment i'll just go ahead and point it out to you it's that that little that lever right there. This 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 little arm which would be this setup right here. Meaning that that arm has to be taken out, turned around, so that it'll come towards the flywheel. Let's get that done. What else loosen that? Gib key up there. I think that collar there is kind of a little bit tight from setting. Now we'll free it up. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pull this gib key out here, and um, I'm just gonna take the. I'm just gonna take the whole thing apart. Uh, reason being, I think it was put together, but, but after it was painted. It has paint on all the shafts in there, so I'm just going to pull the thing apart, put it back together. That wouldn't fit quite well between there, but the paint build up. There, there was no, 
no paint on that on that on that pivot shaft but on on the on the edge of this right here it, that's a real thick coating of paint and then on the inside of this yoke part is a real thick coat of paint okay once you get it once you get a thick coat there and a thick coat there and a thick coat there then this don't pivot no more so i'm going to remove all that paint and clean all of everything uh, needs to be cleaned on that and well, but, but the, the, the problem is the gap right in there. Well, uh, I have to take that gap up. The sliding collar, which is stuck, has been repaired, I see, of brazing. So we may end up replacing that. We'll see. Two... Uh, cup end set screws holds that together with a lock nut now this this weight on this side has quite a bit of play between the yoke so it would need a spacer washer whatever is required to center it up on the gap on your flywheel so we'll set that straight when we put it back together Same story, paint buildup. It's not good. But we do have the complete workings. We'll get all that cleaned up. Even the paint buildup where that pivots right there will impart the, the smoothness of it. The, the collar is free. This one, this one don't have the pin in it down there to on the on the bottom. The later ones has a pin that comes out and a hole drilled in this collar to keep it from rotating. This one don't have that. But and you can see right there that repair on it. So we'll uh, Well, we'll see to that gap. We'll get that flywheel loose and slide it out.
Well, let's breathe that up right there. <laughs> <laughs> 